Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this super sweet pop-up get well soon card to share with you. This project was inspired by two things. The first, this gorgeous card by one of my favourite crafters, Veronica. I'll link you her Instagram in the description of this video. Her work is always gorgeous and I just love how she made her own pattern paper background for this card and I wanted to give it a go myself. The other thing that inspired this card was this piece that I made a really long time ago, well before I had a YouTube channel. I had to go digging through my old Instagram posts to find it. It's a tiny tissue box that I made using Lawn Fawn's scallop treat box and the slide on over dies. I wanted to find a way to combine these two cute projects to make something new. So for this pop-up card, I'm using my health themed mini stamps. I have my germ free bear and my get well soon that has this cute little birdie. My platform pop-up die set, this is a clear favourite of mine at the moment. My mini pop-up box, this one is a little bit older and from memory it came out around a Christmas release and it looks adorable on the inside of cards. I was going to use my giant get well soon die but it wasn't going to be quite visible with what I had planned for the pop-up so instead I'm going to spell out get well soon with my Henry's ABC dies. I cut two of my platform pieces from some white cardstock. I also cut a T, but I found later I didn't need it. I could have stamped all over some cardstock and then cut my platform base out, but I hadn't thought about that before I cut these pieces out and it really didn't make much of a difference. If anything, it saved me a bunch of stamped images that then would have been lost in the offcuts. I'm stamping the band-aid, hand sanitizer and the little medicine bottle all over these. I did a little bit of masking practice today, still not great at it. But I wanted my bear to have this little hat on and I wanted it all to be one piece. Time for colouring. Keeping things incredibly simple today with some reds, browns and pinks. I think I used a tiny bit of grey for the hand sanitizers. To fill in the gaps of my background, I then stamp out some tiny pink hearts and little red crosses. And of course, I add my white gel highlights at the end. I've mentioned it a few times but the weather here has been really wild and I couldn't believe what I was seeing with my ink blending brushes. So the video is going to be a little bit strange here because I hadn't filmed it properly for YouTube. But my brushes were damp and the intense moisture in the air had brought back all of that dry ink on these brushes like back to life and they were messy. So I didn't even have to ink up for this. I would have used warm lipstick, Distress Oxide, but my brush is likely to be a mix of warm lipstick and pink raspberries. So all I did was rub my ink brush all over this and it was just absolutely loaded. So after covering my die cut box in copious amounts of ink, I gave it a lot of time to dry before folding it on its little scored lines. I trimmed the top flaps off because I realised I wouldn't need them. I 
I got the idea to use this pop-up box from a lawn form tutorial that I had watched earlier this week. I believe it was Shari that made the card and turned the box into a little pig, which was really cute. But seeing this box be used in such a way has made me think of a million different ways we can use it with the platform pop-up die and I'm so overwhelmed. I'm starting to write all of these ideas down. So here I am getting this pop-up box ready to adhere to the platform. I was a bit nervous about this step as I really didn't want to get it stuck in the wrong spot, but I think I got it fairly centered. With my Henry's ABC dies, I cut the letters for Get Well Soon. A while back I had cut multiple circles from acetate on my Cricut that worked perfectly with the platform pop-up. Today I'm using another one to support the words Get Well. I adhere the letters for the word soon along the front of the platform base. I then adhered my acetate into place along the back and added white highlights to my letters to make them pop. In hindsight, I should have done this before I glued them down, but I didn't think of it earlier. Using a little stitched oval from the mini pop-up box die set, that is such a mouthful, I cut some white cardstock and stamped a tiny love you, hoping it might make this look a little more like a tissue box. I adhered this one to the side of the box and my bear to the other. The original little tissue box that I made could function and it could fit whole tissues in it nicely if I folded them right. I was hoping to do the same with this box so that when the recipient gets it, it's got like a full tissue in there. Whether they'd use it or not would be up to them, but I just wanted that, I guess, element of it being functional. But unfortunately there was not enough room, so I think this is about half a tissue. I folded it in a way that fanned the top out so it looked like it was a tissue ready to pull from the box. And with that, this card is complete. I would love to know what you think of it. Leave a comment for me down below. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I would love for you to subscribe to stick around to see what I make next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.